Hello everyone. Have you ever been to a restaurant that's so busy, there's a line around the block, and everyone's anxiously waiting for a table, all with that hungry look in their eyes? Where people who would otherwise end up second in line shove people out of the way just so they can be first. A buzzing in the air with all the excitement and enthusiasm of children waiting to open their packages on Christmas morning. We're taking you to a place with all that and more. A place which has undoubtedly gone viral and is one of the most popular Chinese restaurants in all of Chinatown. It also has one of the highest Yelp ratings, almost five stars, 5,000 reviews. It's just on the edge of our fabulous Chinatown and you don't want to miss it. The art of noodle making has been around over 4,000 years. As sculptors turn blocks of stone into exquisite works of art, so noodle masters begin with amorphous blobs of dough then meticulously and laboriously pull and weave over and over and create these beautiful, artisanal, tasty, tantalizing treats. You can see these noodle masters here on display and watch your food being made before your very eyes. If you're one of the few people who's not heard of this place, then consider yourself lucky to have found this review because we're going to introduce you to one of the best Chinese restaurants you'll ever try in Las Vegas, Shang Artisan Noodles. Okay, just a brief moment to shout out a new member to our VIP club. Welcome, Muscle Movers Minnesota. We greatly appreciate your support and hope you enjoy the great perks. If you wish to join, follow the link below in the description area and then click the join button. If you enjoy our content, it's a great way to ensure future videos. We started off this wonderful meal with these amazing spicy wontons. Not only were they hand wrapped, but the dough is made from scratch, and it's like no other you'll ever taste. At Shang Artisan Noodles, you won't find the typical store-bought skins where wonton sheets are stamped out in soulless factories and packaged in plastic. These are the real deal. And the filling, wow, this is sensational. The pork and cabbage are sauteed with garlic, garlic chives, before being wrapped in these wonderful homemade doughy exteriors. These are delicious and spicy. One taste, it was love at first bite. The sauce is another story. I'll tell you more about the chili oil they make here a little later. It's used as the main ingredient in the slightly sweet and rich sauce, along with a hint of Shang's signature five spice seasoning. Truly addicting. We devoured these in no time. These spicy beef noodles start with beef brisket and bones that are lovingly simmered and reduced for hours into a deep, rich, and flavorful broth, sure to please the pickiest of food connoisseurs and soup aficionados. This meaty, hearty broth is overflowing with umami flavor. Once perfectly cooked, a hint of Chinese five spice is added to give it an edge on any other soup anywhere. It's truly a treasure trove of brisket and hand-pulled or knife-cut noodles crafted from scratch. You're going to fall in love with this fantastic dish. They give you a choice of mild or spicy. We asked for it spicy, and at first it tasted pretty mild, but it's the kind of heat that sneaks up on you after a few bites. I used the serving spoon they provided, swallowed three full spoonfuls of just the broth. Wow, my mouth was on fire. It was fantastic. Spring rolls are a relatively new item here at Chang's. The pastry is, of course, homemade and very thin, flaky, and delicate. They have a marvelous crunchy exterior that dissolves in your mouth when you bite into it. These are in keeping with all the other items served here. The filling is a cornucopia of Asian veggies finely chopped and then sauteed into a paste before being rolled into the homemade pastry and then fried till golden brown. The sauce is more like a, a duck sauce than a sweet and sour. It tastes as if it has notes of apricots and ginger as well as flakes of chili. I also love mixing a little of their homemade chili oil into it. it gives it a little hint of spice. Top-notch spring roll for sure. I just love them. So, a little about the chili oil they make here. Nowadays, most respectable Chinese restaurants make their own homemade chili oil. But what differentiates this chili oil from any other is the abundance of chilies used. The percentage of chili is definitely higher than that of the oil. The other factor that makes this oil so stand out is that they season it with a hint of Chinese five spice. Putting this oil on anything just brings out the taste 
and the flavor to a higher level. As you'll see, I added this to just about every dish today. These chicken and mushroom noodles were one of our favorite dishes today. I've had this dish many times before. It's usually my go-to entree at Shang Artisan Noodles. I love the rich creaminess of the sauce and thinly sliced chicken breast. It's loaded with mushrooms. There's so much going on here. It's comfort food for the soul. Not only great texture, but tons of umami flavor from the woodier mushrooms. There's an earthy quality that they impart into this dish. You get a choice, as you do with everything here, to choose between pulled, thin, or knife cut noodles. And I always go for the knife cut because they're easy to eat. The sloppy, slurping noodle days of my youth are gone, and I now find eating sauce preferable to wearing it. Looking around at people eating the long noodles has always made me think they'd be better off serving the long slurpy noodles in a trough than a bowl. There's something off-putting to me about slurping soup or anything for that matter. I know in the art of noodle making, the longer you can make a noodle, the more talented you're considered as an artist. But there comes a point where you can no longer consume them gracefully, and this is the point where I lose interest. Anyway, I'm glad I kept to my usual plan and chose the knife cut noodles for this dish. They were fantastic. I've made this chicken cold sesame noodle dish my whole life, and people love them, so I had high expectations. While the homemade noodles were amazing, I didn't much care for the sauce. I'd love to go back in the kitchen and show the chef what I'd do to make them better. A little sesame oil would have done them a world of good. To this day, I still have former clients who are addicted to my peanut sauce. I mailed them shipments all the time. They looked the part, but the taste was a little bland and lacked the bold seasoning it needed to make this a standout dish. The julienne carrots, cucumber, and chopped onions gave this dish a wonderful crunchiness. The shredded chicken was perfectly seasoned. It was just the peanut sauce needed more to bring these noodles to the high standards set by the other dishes here at Chang's. We ordered the chicken chow mein with the long hand-pulled noodles. They're so long you could probably stretch them from the front of the restaurant back to the kitchen with no problem. People could be seen everywhere trying to twirl and slurp them. The flavor is tremendous of this chow mein. So rich, the sauce is like a dark brown gravy made with soy, garlic, chives, and sesame oil. It coats the homemade noodles perfectly. We love these, but usually order them with the knife cut noodles. However, we wanted to show you at least one dish with Shang's famous hand-pulled pasta. This is probably going to be a contender for our best of list. My mom always told me to eat all my vegetables. and There are so many in here, tons of cabbage, carrots, and onions. The thinly cut breast meat is so perfectly cooked. It's tender and savory with tons of umami goodness. This is comfort food at its finest. Do yourself a favor and get these when you come here. And if you decide to order the hand-pulled noodles, I recommend leaving your white shirt at home, and God forbid, this is not first date fair. We love these little meat-filled beef pancakes. They have a fantastic crispy outer shell, which takes a bit of effort to break through. I notice they now serve them with a sharp knife to cut in half before eating. I used to let people bite into them, but if you do, the scorching hot liquid would squirt all over possibly burn you, not to mention ruining your clothes. Even with the knife they now supply, you need to be careful. Fortunately, they're delicious, and so worth the risk. Again, the homemade pastry they use to encase them is amazing. I love the seared pan-fried crispness they get on the outside, and that ever so satisfying greasiness. It makes them just irresistible. The filling is a compact little minced beef and garlic umami ball. These are perhaps the quintessential dumplings you see in every noodle house here in our Chinatown, but nobody makes them better than Chang. At each table, they provide you with a sauce made of soy and vinegar. It's the perfect dipping sauce for these beautiful pancakes. The only way these get any better is to use their fabulous chili oil as well. It's probably my favorite chili oil in Vegas. This cucumber salad with sesame sauce a very interesting dish. Not only are these great as a palate cleanser, but they help to cool off your mouth from the burning effect of the chili they use in most dishes here. 
especially if you ask for the spicy version as we did. Fresh cucumbers are cut into spheres and then topped with a dressing made of peanuts, sesame oil, sugar, and soy sauce. These were good, but with the addition of more toasted sesame flavor, I think they would have been lifted to a higher level. Still, we did enjoy them very much. This peanut sauce would make a great salad dressing. Kind of reminds me of a, a little mild satay sauce. Dan Dan noodles, also known as carrying pole noodles. This dish was first developed in Sichuan cuisine. They originally were sold in markets and stalls as street food. Vendors would carry a large pole between two people, from which hung a number of pots containing the Dan Dan noodles. They're probably the most popular street food in Asia because they're so inexpensive to make and the sauce is so wonderful. I love the rendition they make here at Chang's. It's exquisite. Packed with rich spicy sauce and sharp flavor from fermented radishes and savory minced pork. These noodles get their wonderful character from the Sichuan peppercorns with its mouth-numbing effect it's highly addicting. Garlic, green onions, and peanuts complete the tapestry of flavors that has for so many years captivated people's taste buds and held them hostage. While this was our first time trying them here, it certainly won't be our last. There's so much going on in this noodle dish. It was by far the standout dish of the day. Make sure to order this dish. You won't be disappointed. These are pot stickers at their finest. There's nothing more addicting than a good dumpling. And these are among some of the best you'll ever taste. They rival those made at the great dim sum houses served everywhere in our Las Vegas Chinatown. The dough is just as remarkable here as are the noodles. And why would it not be, since they're also made from scratch by artisans? You can tell it's homemade and fresh. One needs only to glance in the direction of the kitchen to see the dumplings being kneaded and prepared from start to finish just moments before they reach your table. The lacy, crafted pastry doily that tops these incredible dumplings had a wonderful, crunchy texture to the soft, malsome, voluptuous, and silky dumplings. The pork and cabbage interior is flavored with garlic, chives, and sesame oil. We love them. I have to say, these dumplings are truly spectacular. It's not hard to see why Shang Artisan Noodle is so wildly popular here in Vegas and why there's a line forming 15 minutes before they open. From our comments so far, you can see two main themes emerge. First and foremost, they have delicious food. With a few exceptions, such as the cold noodle dish and the cucumber salad, everything was fantastic and I would gladly order them again and again, especially the Dan Dan noodles. They were the standout dish of the day. They definitely captured the essence of this restaurant by including artisan in the name. They very cleverly let us see the artisans toiling away in the kitchen giving us the feeling we're privileged both to watch masters at work and to enjoy the fruits of their mastery. As to the second theme, this is a very slurpy, messy food to eat. I know this is coming from a Westerner's perspective, but sometimes the frustration of trying to be graceful while enjoying the food is a major turnoff. I felt like the front row ticket holder at a Gallagher concert who forgot to bring a protective tarp. Anyway, now to what I feel is the most glaring issue with Shang Artisan Noodle. Go to their webpage, Look up their menu, now search for the word dessert. You won't find it. No dessert? Are you kidding? I wasn't necessarily expecting world-class desserts, but how about something simple such as ice cream? As total sweet twos, we were left unsatisfied with the meal due to the lack of a nice sugar high at the end. On the way home, I stopped at Dim Sum Licious and got a few of their lava buns to take home. While all this aside, one can't deny the quality of the food at Chang. The beautiful interior, and the professional staff. For these reasons, I highly recommend Shang Artisan Noodle, and I'll definitely be back with my protective tarp and a spot prepared for dessert on the way home. Do yourself a favor and try Shang Artisan Noodle. Who knows, maybe we'll see you there, and don't forget to tell them, Let's Eat Vegas sent you. I know we're all guilty of watching YouTube videos and not participating. As a reminder, please like, comment, subscribe, or even become a VIP member to our channel. It means a lot to us, and it helps us to grow and to bring you more reviews. Until we eat again, bon appetit.